Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk all about how to decorate your dorm. Just a quick little background. Here are some of the dorms that I've had. I've lived in a dorm my freshman year of college. I go to Arizona State. I lived in Haciampa Academic Village, Building A, Floor 7. I also lived in a dorm in my sorority house. And then this past year, I lived in an apartment that was technically student housing. So I've kind of lived in a dorm for the past three years. I've lived in student housing for three years. All my money is going to ASU. All of it. So those were some of my dorms. That was my resume. <laughs> Everyone has completely different taste and decor styles, but I wanted to give you guys some of the thought process that I go through when I'm decorating my dorm. One of my most asked things is like, Keegan, will you help me decorate my dorm? So I thought I would compile a list of things that when I was decorating my dorm, things that I kept in mind and drew inspiration from to help you design a dorm that is your taste. I do want to say I did go over the top with every single one of my dorms because I film YouTube videos in my dorms and my rooms, but I also wanted to make it feel homey. You can definitely get homesick moving away from home for the first time so I wanted to make my space feel like a place that I wanted to go to and feel comfortable in. I'm gonna show you guys my thought process on decorating my dorms. Also make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. I'm making a ton of dorm college back to school content so stick around. I'll link some of my dorm videos down below like my dorm essentials or things that you need in your dorms. I don't know there's lots of dorm videos. I'll link them down below. I'll make a playlist. <laughs> Let's get started with the video. The first thing that I'd recommend doing is trying to find the floor plan of your dorm online. This is actually quite hard. I'm not gonna lie I really struggled finding this I remember I searched in like Arizona State whatever the dorm was called Casiampa Academic Village floor plan Google images it was hard to find it was quite buried in there but I found it another route that you can go for finding floor plan is YouTube videos before I was a freshman there was barely any YouTube videos of dorm tours for the dorm that I was living in now as the years have progressed there's quite a few dorm tours mine is one of them Dorm tours are a really great way of finding out the floor plan of your dorm, seeing how other people decorate it, and seeing what is the most functional. You can have an idea before you move in of how you want to lay out your room, but when you get there, trying to find the most functional way is really important. The floor plans did not tell me the square footage. I remember I was trying to like measure out all the things that I was bringing and see if they would fit. It didn't do that, but it did give me a pretty good sense of how big the room was and what I could fit in there versus what I couldn't. When I found the floor plan, I like to arrange how I wanted the furniture. Make sure to include your roommate in this, but I like to plan out where I wanted to put my furniture. I drew this like on my iPad or on my laptop. I remember my roommate freshman year wanted our beds to be shaped like an L. So like my bed was here, hers was here, and like our heads were kind of touching. We ended up having our beds on separate ends of the wall, which I really liked because it kind of flipped the room in half and gave us that not necessarily privacy, but our own like sense of personal space because you're sharing so much with a person. It's nice kind of having a wall or a side that's just yours. So I would totally recommend doing that if it's possible to split your room into half. I just really like that and I I think it makes the room look good too. The next thing you're going to want to do is to pick your color scheme. This is something that you and your roommate can decide on together. I remember my freshman year, we had a couple ideas for what we wanted our room to be and we ended up with this. I wrote this down. My freshman year, our theme was pink, gold, and white. My sophomore year, it was green, neutral color tone, and white. And then my junior year, it was neutral color tones, white, and black. Also knowing the color of your furniture, if you can find pictures online or YouTube videos of what color your furniture will be, will be very helpful as well. My freshman year, my furniture was gray. It was like a metally gray. And I remember my sweet mates had a gray theme for their room. So their furniture and all their decor was gray. And I remember them saying it didn't feel very homey because it was just kind of like a gray, not prison, but you know what I mean. It's like an all gray room. So it wasn't very inviting. If you can find out what color your furniture is, that will also be super helpful in deciding what color scheme you want for your room. Try to make it go with the colors of the furniture, but not the exact same color. In my head, I view color schemes as three colors. I'm not an interior designer. I know nothing. I just know what I like. For example, for my freshman year, the basic color that we had was white. Our main pop of color was pink. We won like a light peachy pink. And then we had an accent color slash metal. I kind of view accent colors and metals kind of like together. And ours was gold. For my sophomore year, my accent color slash metal was black. I kind of view like a big base color, a pop of color, and then a mini pop of color. I recommend picking out three colors and sticking with those colors. You can obviously buy things that aren't those colors, but those are the three things that when you're shopping for, try to find it in those three colors. Another thing that I recommend is getting the same exact bedding as your roommate. I think it looks super nice and super clean. I remember my freshman year roommate and I wanted to do this, but we liked different bedding. We each bought the same color bedding from Urban Outfitters, so it was the exact same pink color. But when they delivered, her bedding was a completely different shade than my bedding was, even though online it said they were the exact same color. If you guys can agree on the exact same bedding, I think that looks super cute, super nice, super clean. My roommate and I tried to match, but it didn't work out. Let's talk about wall decor. This is probably going to be your main 
main focus wall for your bed you and your roommate will probably have your own wall most people put their wall decor above their twin bed this cannot be something that you nail into the wall so it has to be command hooks command tape blue painters tape maybe even tacks i find that a lot of people use tacks and they don't get fined for it but use at your own caution people always ask me how i come up with the concepts for my wall decor because that is always the focal point of my room for my freshman year room i remember i found a picture on pottery barn teen of these flowers hung to the wall and i was like that's genius every single wall decor that i've had in my room has been diys i made them myself my freshman year i spray painted some white frames from ikea gold and then i made the flowers out of tissue paper and i command stripped them all to the wall my sophomore year the embroidery hoops people were always like where did you buy those i made them i remember i found a time lapse of a girl cleaning her house on twitter and i saw that she had that in her bedroom and i was like i love that so i made a diy of it and then my junior year the mirrors that i had i found a thousand dollar mirror online and i was like no 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 i had someone stain a piece of wood and literally used a very strong glue and glued the shelf onto the mirror so they were all diy so i recommend searching pinterest going through home decor websites going on twitter tiktok going to a bunch of different websites apps gathering a bunch of different inspiration combining them figuring out what you like and what you don't like you can definitely buy things you can definitely diy things that's what i did i will say though my junior year i did use nails in the wall and i'm just gonna patch them and repaint them but in a dorm i wouldn't really recommend doing that i didn't do that until i was in an apartment when i lived in a dorm i just used command strips some things that a lot of people do for above their bed they do collage walls they do tapestries photo galleries i would say like a really big thing is taking like aesthetic photos and making a collage out of it that's a really big trend right now a lot of people use like the vines from amazon or from urban outfitters really go for something that is your style some people do twinkle lights take something that is your style that you love you're the only person that needs to like it who cares if anyone else likes it kind of important if your roommate's cool with it i'm editing this video right now but i wanted to mention one thing make sure whatever you hang on your wall above your bed you can lean on your bed because here like right i can lean on my bed freshman year if i leaned on that wall i would flatten the flowers sophomore year if i leaned on the wall all the greenery would fall off i remember my freshman year i wanted to do hanging flowers like on my headboard don't do that because you can't lean back and you're probably going to be in your bed a lot let's talk about non-wall decor ways to make your dingy dorm super cute and trendy the first thing of course throw pillows and throw blankets they add such great color i recommend getting ones with texture see how this has texture you can definitely overdo texture but i feel like texture really adds a visual element to a room especially in throw blankets and throw pillows those are some of my favorite places to put texture in i normally go for a decently simple bedding and then i really spice it up with the pillows and with the blanket lighting is also a huge thing for your room i've talked about this all the time my dorm did not have overhead lighting it just had windows so having floor lamps desk lamps the brighter your room is the bigger it feels the more open it feels and it also illuminates your room at night when you have no lights <laughs> i also recommend getting some mirrors mirrors reflect they make your room look so much bigger i recommend getting a full-length mirror so you can see how you look maybe a desk mirror for when you're getting ready in the morning you can even use mirrors as wall decor that's what i did for my junior year apartment your dorm is probably going to be pretty small so having a mirror will make the room look a little bit bigger and last but not least desk decor the one thing about desk decor is you want it to be cute but you also want it to be functional you don't want to take up a ton of space on your desk because you really don't have that much storage and space my desk was decently small so i'd recommend getting some decor that is functional that you can use i remember i had a cute gold tray that i could put papers and things in another thing that i used for my desk was my makeup brush holder was super cute make sure it's functional make sure it has a purpose but also it can be cute and add to your room let's talk about storage you're definitely going to need storage i always talk about my ottoman i love my ottoman it's from target i would use it to step on my bed because my bed was raised so high it also had storage in it so i could store things in it it was also an extra seat for people but it was super cute add an extra little pop of color in my room which i love another thing that i did for storage was i bought a dresser you don't have to do this you can buy like plastic drawers from anywhere but i bought a dresser from ikea because i was like okay i'd rather just buy a dresser one time bring it to my next apartment with me not have to get plastic bins throw them away waste money i'd rather just buy it one time and be done i think the white dressers looked really cute in my dorm you definitely don't need them but if you're going to buy plastic bins try to buy ones that match your color scheme if you can i'd also recommend if you have any storage things that are kind of ugly store them behind your bed there's actually quite a bit of storage behind your bed like i remember i had my dresser and then there was still a ton of storage behind there so i would store my suitcases or just like ugly things behind there the last thing that i'm going to talk about is bougie decor that's how i file it under my head my freshman year dorm i did peel and stick wallpaper on my bedroom on one of the walls honestly not a necessity my wall was yellow and i hated the yellow wall for filming videos because it gave such like a weird yellowy warm tint which i didn't like i got a peel and stick wallpaper from target put it up it looked so cute but do 
do this at your own risk. Dorm paint is super cheap. It peels really easily. So when you take it down, you have to be super careful. I remember there was one little patch that came off and I just painted over it. If you do decide to do this, do it at your own risk because it could take all the paint off and not just a little patch. Another bougie thing that I see people do is contact paper. My biggest recommendation, if you have wood furniture in your dorm, do not do contact paper because it will peel the wood off. I've seen this happen to so many people and you can't paint over wood like you would a wall. I think it looks nice, but it's such a risk if you have wood furniture. I would honestly recommend just skipping out on contact paper no matter what kind of furniture you have. I think the furniture that I had in my freshman year dorm would have been fine with contact paper, but it looked fine so I didn't feel like I needed it. Contact paper is the biggest risk, especially with wood. So if you're thinking about getting it, maybe not. ASU finds you something ridiculous like $100 for every little imperfection that you leave in your dorm. That is my thought process and inspiration for decorating my dorms. I hope that you guys liked this video and found some inspiration from it. Let me know how you guys are planning on decorating your dorm. If you have any questions, DM me. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I seriously would love to help so much. It's my favorite thing. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram for some more college dorm back to school content. Woo! I love back to school season and I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!